In this video, I'm going to be showing you how we're going to show the list of our grocery items using a directive supplied to us by AngularJS. I'm also going to show you how we're going to use a separate controller to replace this replace title here in our nav bar for our actual app title. So right now, we have two controllers that I've defined. One is going to go on our body. It's going to control all of our body tag. And right now, that's just essentially going to replace the app title. But in the future, it'll do more. And the second controller is going to control all of you know our, our grocery list items. It's just going to control pretty much how we interact with those grocery list items. So let's go ahead and take a look at these two in our app.js. So the first thing we've done in our app.js file is, as you probably guessed, we defined our app at the very top as a separate module called grocery list app. And then we have our first controller. Our first controller, as I've said, controls the body, and I named it home controller. And then we have a variable called app title which will control, which is set to grocery list, the name of our app. Our second controller called grocery list item controller is, as I've said, controls that main container, which is going to be, you know, handling all of our interaction with the actual grocery list items. So in there, I've created a new variable called grocery items. And within there, I have a completed attribute, an item name and a date. So the completed is just whether or not it's checked. The item name is as it's implied, just the name of the item. And then the date is the date created for the item. Great, so let's go ahead and start coding and implementing some of this stuff. So just like any app in Angular, I need to just apply this ng app directive and I need to say, you know, grocery list app. That just needs to be the same name that's right here. Then I'm gonna supply our first controller, as I've said, on our body. I'm gonna say ng controller, home controller. And now that I've supplied that home controller, I actually have access to that app title variable. So I can replace this with an expression. Let's go ahead and do app title. I'm going to refresh the page. And as you can see now, it says grocery list. So that's all working correctly. Now I'm going to say ng controller once again on our container. And I'm going to say grocery items controller. And now once I have that attached, I'm going to be able to use our new directive, right? I want to loop through every one of our, our items and display it. So in our UL tag, I'm going to create a li tag that has you know a list group item supplied to us by bootstrap that's going to center the text and then it's going to use this clear fix to fix a bug that has to do with adding our buttons later on so in that li i'm going to want to essentially supply whatever we want to show but before i do that i'm going to show our new directive which is called ng repeat ng repeat is just a directive that essentially allows us to do a for each loop in a dom element so ng repeat i'm going to say items in grocery list items. So double check that I got that right. So grocery items. So I'm just saying, you know, for each item in grocery items, I want to see my item dot item name, right? So now when I refresh the page, I should have all of my items and I do, right? It just forwards through all of those. Wherever I attach this ng repeat directive, it will grab this whole whatever's in this DOM and it will loop through it. It'll make a new one for every one of those items. Great. So just like in our final mockup, I want these to be bold. So I'm going to add a span tag real quick. Say style, you know, font weight. Bold. And I'm going to complete that here. So now if all is correct, didn't spell weight correctly, but if all is correct, there you have it. Now these are all bold. Great, so we've just completed listing our items. We've also defined our app title and placed both of our controllers in the appropriate points in our app.